and I want to put her in internal rotation. So she's going to put, so you're going to take a tape scrap and put behind her foot, her heel. Okay, put under it, I meant not behind it. We also have a couple of these taping blocks, so you can use these as well. So I'll have some scraps out, I'll have these out, and you can choose whatever you want to choose that day. All right, so I'm going to put in a little bit of hip internal rotation. All right, and then I'm going to start distally like we always do. All right, and so I like to use a six inch roll. So I will have a couple different sizes out. So you have to obviously choose the appropriate size. Six inch, and it's a double length um, ace wrap. So go ahead, can you stand up? Oh, there you go. See how good your balance is. All right, the main mistake that I see people do is they start way too far down on the knee. Our goal is to we're wrapping the hip, all right? So do not start that low because you're going to run out of ace wrap very quickly. All right, so I, you want to start about mid-thigh, maybe even a little bit higher. And you're going to, again, I don't care how you come off the roll. I just think it's easier to come off from the bottom. And you're going to start mutely. And you're going to make this look very pretty. So how you want to make it look, spread your legs a little bit. There you go. How you want to make that look pretty is you're going to make this kind of nice X. So you're rolling down, and then you're coming around, and you're rolling up. So nice and pretty. Okay. You shouldn't have any wrinkles or anything, and you should be pulling about 50%. So if this is 100%, you're pulling about 50% off of that ace wrap, right? Once I get up um, to the top of the thigh, then you're going to go around the hip. Now, another, you know what, I'm gonna go one more time around. Because another thing is people will start and go here. And not so much for women, but for guys, this can be a problem. It can limit them, all right? So you want to make sure that you are avoiding the groin area and going higher on the hip. Okay, don't let me catch you if you get this to have it down here. All right, it's restricting them. So go higher on the hip. You are tall. I know. And you have a step stool. And then you're going to come down. When you come down, you're going down. Okay, and this is called a hip spica as well because you're actually kind of making that figure of eight. And you're just going to keep doing that until you run out of ace wrap. And wherever that ends, you have the athlete hold it, please. And then what I like to do is take something like flex wrap. And this is flex wrap, all right? It's really very um, pliable, flexible, all right? but it doesn't have a lot of tensile strength. So what you kind of use this for is bony areas or just to kind of cover things. So I want to make sure this stays on because she's going to be moving around a lot. So I'm just going to go and just kind of follow that same spike up pattern a couple times around. Now, today, all right, I don't have a ton of flex wraps and it's expensive. So just use white tape today. But for your practical, you can certainly use this. All right. White tape might actually be a little too constricting. So for practice, use white. But for your practical, you do this. Whenever you use this tape, though, what happens is it tends to roll and then it could start coming off. So you always, always want to secure your flex wrap with some strips of white tape. So I'm just going to go over this. make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, stand up. Or I'm going to get down <laughs> and just see how it feels. Very secure. <laughs> okay.